Okay, now it's time to head over to Chef Mark, who's making, and this is quite intriguing, chicken balls with mango and soy. I don't yeah. know how that all goes together. Beautifully. Really? It Does will it? Be. Yeah, no, it will be. Okay, Why so you've got a bit of the saltiness with the soy, a bit of sweetness with the mango. Yeah, so, so ultimately it's a, you know, a Chinese-inspired dish. You know, we're going to put lots of flavour into our chicken mince and thighs there. We're going to make these nice little balls, sauté them off. We're going to do a stir fry. We've got mushrooms, chilli, red mm -hmm. onion, and then there's some soy in there. And yeah. then we're going to throw some mango in for some sweetness and something interesting. Brilliant. OK, well, I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to be fantastic. We will get the recipe a little later on. Great to have you with us. We are here in the Beko kitchen. And Mark, you're making chicken balls with soy and mango. So yep. you said before, uh, what, where was it inspired from? Asia. Asia, okay, good. Just checking. Well, it's a little bit, you know, we're, we're making meatballs. Right, okay, cool. Well, with, Asia's with not Asian the only flavors. place that makes meatballs. But <laughs> oh, no. Oh, but is that just the mango? You put the mango in it? The yeah. Nice freshness. Just, just nice, you know, a bit of, bit of sweetness with the soy, you know. Okay, we, great. We know that um, sugar works with soy, so that's really good. Nice. So the mango, ooh, should taste so good. Yeah. Okay. I, never, I never tried this, so hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed. I'm sure it'll be let beautiful. Us, never let us down, Mark. I know. Okay, I know. so you're chopping up some chicken thigh right, so, in the food processor. So I've got a little bit, of, um, little bit of chicken thigh in there, get yep. some salt. Mm -hmm. Right, and then we're going to get some flavours into that. So I've got some ginger here. Okay. So I'm just going to sort of roughly chop it and get it in there. Right. And then we're going to blend it all and grind it all down. Okay. You know, if you didn't want to do this, you could just chop it all nice and fine and then just use the mince. Okay. Uh, but it's quite nice to sort of, you know, it gives you a different texture if you if you do it with the mince and um, and the chicken thigh, which you've okay. ground down. So a little bit of garlic in there. Nice. Which is good. Got some thyme in there as well. Just going to chop up. Okay, so that goes good. in. Roughly. Lemongrass, okay. All right, so um, you got a big stick of lemongrass. Yes. So I take a little bit off the end, and I'm just going to cut that in half. Okay. And then I'm going to split it, and you'll see on there, you know, it's a really sort of hard root, so okay, we don't cool. want to be chopping this. Practically wood. <laughs> well, it, you know, yeah. it is, it is. And I'm just going to take the outer, you know, one or two layers off as you, well. You don't want them? No, I okay. mean, if you're going to make a master stock, you know, keep it all, keep yep. it in the freezer, and then uh, if you're going to make a master stock or, or any sort of soup or anything like that, yeah, you can Chuck put all that in, yeah. that's fine. But if you want to use it and chop it up, um, Get a sharp knife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, so we're just going to roughly chop it now, just to Ooh, just to sort of get it going. I can smell that. And then obviously in the grinder, it's going to uh, it's going to chop a bit more. Right. Okay. Good luck with that grinder. Oh, look at that! Yeah, straight yeah. away. Success. Right. So we just we're, so we just let that go. Yeah. In do you here. Want me to wash my hands. Uh, yeah, you can do because you're going to be uh, boiling. Okay. So I've got the chicken mince in here. Most Friday nights, I'm always boiling. Out on the town, having a good time. <laughs> on the dance floor. <laughs> on the dance floor, yeah. <laughs> Not so much in the kitchen, but we'll see what happens today. Right, a little bit of spring onion. Yes. Uh, we're going to chop that up. Yep. So you can see sort of grinding down. And, it, and we're going to, the reason why we do the thigh and the mince, we've got a different texture. Okay. Okay. So we're not going to combine them together. Yes, we're we gonna, are going to combine are? them together. Oh, okay, sweet. Okay, sweet. Oh. Okay. Oh, that was noisy. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, that was even noisier. <laughs> this is why I never use a blender. <laughs> this is this is this is cooking in the kitchen. It's a working kitchen. Exactly, it's real. Okay. Right. So we've got all our um you know flavours in there. We've got the mince there. Yeah. Some spring onions just gone in there. A little bit of chili as well now. Mix it together? Yeah, so you just give it a really good mix together. Okay, good. And then it smells um smells so good. And what we're going to do, a few breadcrumbs in there. So okay. I've just got some panko breadcrumbs, so, you know, a little bit like that. And that's just going to hold it and, um, you know, keep it nice and moist. All the juices are going to hold and stay in the meatball, but it's going to hold it together when we cook it. Okay, cool. Okay, a little bit more um, salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And then give it a really good mix. And then we're just going to boil it. So we're just going to take, you know, a spoonful of mixture and just sort of compact it between your hands. Let me show you. Okay, yeah, show me, show me, so, show me. A little bit like that, compact it. Squashing it as you go, and then just give it a nice sort of, um, you know, you twist go, cool. it up. Yeah, Pop nice. it in the fridge for 20 minutes, then do it. It's a lot easier. Right, just before we go, I've got a pan on here. Okay. And we're just going to start the sauce. Swap so, sides. I'll go here. I'll keep rolling. Oh, that's good. Okay. Right, mirin goes in there. Mm -hmm. Some soy sauce goes in there. A little bit of chicken stock goes in there, and some sake. So this is this is Japanese. Um, 
Well, it's definitely wine. sort of, yeah, rice wine, like a cooking spirit. Okay. So that all goes in there. We're just going to bring that to the boil, tick it over for a little bit. It's just going to, you know, uh, concentrate the flavours, and we're going to thicken that a little bit later in our stir fry. Okay. So I'm going to get my pans warm, and yep. we'll be back. Okay, and I need to make all these sizes the same, don't I? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, cool. I will fix that while we take <laughs> a break. We need to finish cooking off these chicken and mango soy balls. Uh, they, well, you know, actually, this is a really good time to ask you this. You know, when you're trying to get a full coating on something like a meatball. Yeah. When you brown them, do you flick them over to the opposite side or do you just flick them up a bit like that? Well, I'd, I'd do it on the opposite side and then do the sides, okay. you know, so it sets it. But if you put it, pop it in the fridge for half an hour so they set, then it will keep the shape a little bit more. Right, and they'll just roll around nicely for you. Yep. Okay, and this browning, is are you happy with this? Yeah, just no, that's going. really good to get cool. a really nice brown. So we're looking for that all over, and then, cool. then the chicken should be cooked. Okay, cool, and we're back to our sauce. Right, so we've got our soy in there. I'm just sliced a bit of ginger as well. Just nice and thin, and that's going to flavour it. And I've got a little bit of brown sugar as well. We're just going to pop in. And okay, that's going to nice. help sort of sweeten, um, sweeten the whole yeah. sauce up and uh, sort of thicken it slightly. Okay, great. Right, so now we're going to start stir fry. So I've got a, uh, a nice hot wok in there. Yep. So we're doing it in a few different pans, and then we can incorporate it together a little bit later. Some bit of red onion. Yeah, some red onion. So, you know, don't want it too, too fine. So nice sort of chunks like that. And it's a good idea. Chop them up. And then just sort of break it up a little bit on the on the board before you pop it in. Okay, great. Because sometimes it's a bit tight and um, you know keeps in one chunk and doesn't really cook. Nice work. So, so we're going to get them in there. So nice. stir frying. So you need to be stirring that as well at the okay. same time, Mike. Keeping me busy. Okay. Or shaking it. That's good. No, that's okay, good. Good. I'll but, shake. Yeah, you know you can do that. You know, a little bit more ginger in there if you want. It's all good. It's all nice with all these aromats. A little bit of chili. We're going to pop in there, and that's just going to flavour the sauce as well. You know, sauce is going out, so it's all coming together now. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen you so busy in the kitchen. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I like it. Right, mushrooms. So some nice bottom mushrooms. Get those in there now as well. So I'm just quartering them. Okay. Now, if, they're, if they're any bigger than this, you know, cut them into sort of six or even eight, eights. Okay, cool. Um, you know, won't take long to cook. So just keep that sort of heat up there now. Okay. So don't take it off the pan, off the grill yeah, too much. No, yeah, no. <laughs> that was the subtle way of saying keep it close to the element, <laughs> yeah. Mike. And I've got uh, I've got a little bit of corn flour now, so I've just uh, mix it with the water. So that's known as a slurry here, and this is going to thicken our sauce up because we are reducing the soy down with all the sake and all the other flavours in there to develop the ginger flavour and to intensify it a little bit. But if we keep reducing that down, it's going to be too um, salty. Nice you know, we're going to lose that sort of fresh flavour. Okay. Right, mango. What do we do with the how, mango? How do you peel a mango? With a peeler. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you've seen it. Oh. <laughs> no, but, no just... but you can. As long as your mango is not like really, really overripe, you know, this is probably the best way of peeling it. Well, you're not well. wasting so much. <laughs> yeah, OK, Don't back to the it. knife. <laughs> right. If you haven't got a peeler, <laughs> you can just, you know, you can do, you can do it like an orange. You know, like you or, you, or you can just cut, yeah. cut your uh, cut your cheek off like that, and yeah. you know you can score it on the inside and fold it out. I mean, there's you know there's how many different ways to skin a cat. The peeler works really well, you know, if you've got a if you've got a decent peeler. No, but that was all brilliant for you Shake. know, all brilliant to let people know the options there, Mark. It was me. No, to it's happen. brilliant. Okay, and, right. and then what I'd like to do now is just, uh, you know, some nice slices, you know, not not too much because the mango is going to warm up, so it's going to soften slightly. So it's nice, it's nice to keep it in, um, you know, an, a nice, uh, you know, big piece like that, you know. Mm -hmm. So you okay, know good. you're eating some mango, and then people go, oh, I've got mango in there. That's interesting, and that's the response what you want, because then they're going to try it, and it's going to be beautiful. Right. So this has been boiling for about five minutes or so. Yep. So that's probably enough. I'm going to pop that in there. Mm. Deglaze all that. Nice. You know, it's still reducing down. A little bit of the corn flour goes in there. So you can start your little bit, little bit in, and you can see it's sort of starting to thicken. Right. Okay. It's really hot, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, if you want it a little bit thicker, add a little bit more. But that's what I am after. And you're going to put the mango in? Mango. Woo! Mango's in there. Yeah. Last minute, you just want to warm it up. Chicken balls, you know, nice colour on there. They're nearly cooked. We'll pop them in there. Okay. Um, look Smells at that. Great. They're going to glaze, glaze over that. Brilliant. How good does that look? You know, if you need a little bit more, put a splash more uh, of your soy mix in there, or even a splash of water. You know, there's so much flavour in there. Brilliant. You know, we've got spring onion there. Let's chop a spring onion. Okay, cool. You know, a bit of fresh coriander would be brilliant. You know, that nice, really fast. Really okay, easy. well, cool. 
looks great, doesn't well, it? Well, yeah, it does. I can't wait to eat it, and we'll see the finished product towards <laughs> the end of the show. Fantastic work, Mark. I've never worked so hard in the kitchen before. <laughs> okay, this smells delicious, Mark. I can't wait to tuck into it. Well Looks done. good, isn't it? What are you going to do tomorrow? Right, we're doing uh, some sweet tomorrow, so a spice rice pudding with poached pear.